Welcome everyone to another episode of Extreme Power No Handling and today we're dealing with a 1939 Maserati 8CTF. Now it has a 511 horsepower, 3.6 litre straight 8 and it weighs 2013 pounds. So yeah this is uh, extremely similar to the likes of the Ferrari that we uh, tested not long ago in that it's open wheel, it's old, it's uh, got all the same kind of layout, front end and rear wheel drive, no safety whatsoever. But it has slightly less power and it's 13 years older. It's even uh, before World War II. So, yeah, it's uh, going to be a bit more of a handful, no doubt. Even though it does have more power and le less power, even and more weight. But it does have more torques as well. So, those rear tyres, which aren't all that wide, do have a lot of t to handle in terms of power and uh, torque. And, yeah, it's going to be. Uh, but it is one of my favourite cars nonetheless. So, yeah, let's see what it's going to be able to do. This was supercharged back in the day and it still is now, which wasn't unusual back then because even the likes of Bentley had uh, supercharged cars, but in terms of race cars I think that was something that was uh, pretty new, especially for something that's so, uh, as quick as, it is, as this was stock, it's even quicker now, as you'd expect. But yeah, I do love the sound of this engine. There's not many cars out there that are, uh, especially in terms of games, that have straight eights in them, so it's uh, a nice uh, addition. Certainly something new and original. Now that I'm sure you've seen, this has been announced for Forza 6, which is great news for me because I love this car. Have it on more tracks and with better graphics and better handling. Uh, physics is all going to be all good. Whoa! Yeah, this is a bit of handful. This car. One twenty nine is good for a first lap. It's certainly we're third fastest I think or thereabouts. But we have two more laps to go to try and get even quicker. The Ferrari was about one minutes one minute twenty two six thereabouts, so a long way off yet. I'm just going to let you listen to this engine for a bit now. So turn up those speakers. Well, that was certainly a lot faster than last time, more than four seconds. I think that puts us into second place overall on the leaderboard. It's a bit weird that uh, the two oldest cars that we've had are now top two. Then again, the fact that they don't have all well, they do have a lot of power, more than 500 horsepower, still a lot of horsepower, especially considering how light they are. But I think that's why they are so quick compared to the others because they, they are both really, really light. Which gives me an idea for another car to try in terms of uh, lacking in weight. Uh, 
turned out as quick as the second lap. Second lap was the fastest, so yeah, let's take a look at that time along with the other ones. And yeah, second place easily. It's just under a second quicker than the BMW 2002 Turbo, and it's not as quick as the Ferrari, no, it's about two seconds off the Ferrari. But yeah, second place for uh, the oldest car we've taken around so far is not bad at all. I guess it goes to show that even though it is an old race car, a race car is still quick, even with more power and no handling. So yeah, pretty impressive. Uh, I'm glad it's got as high as it did, considering it is my favourite one we've taken around so far. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.